Hi, kids. Grandma here. Grandma Patty Ann. Hi, Layla and Levi and Kyle and Connor and Carter and Susie, Delilah, Bobby, and Max. Hey, you guys. Thanks for joining me today. I have a fun story to share with you today. Check it out. The name of today's story is Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown, and the pictures were by Clement Hurd. In a great green room, there was a telephone, and a red balloon, and a picture of... the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs, and two little kittens, and a pair of mittens, and a little toy house, and a young mouse, and a comb and a brush, and a bowl full of mush, and a quiet old lady who was whispering, Hush! Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens, and good night, mittens. Good night, clocks, and good night, socks. Good night, little house, and good night, mouse. Good night, comb, and good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. A good night to the old lady whispering, Hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. And that's the end. Okay, parents, this is for you, mom and dad, or older brother and sister, or kids who like to play school. If you have a printer, you can easily print out these little, uh, this little activity that goes along with the game, and what it, or with the book. What it's perfect for parents and those of you who are homeschoolers is you can use this as a matching game. You see how they match up, or. You can use it for storytelling, like sequencing. What comes next? What comes next? What do you think is going to come next <laughs> for sequencing? Another thing you could do is maybe just have uh, one set of these and say, I spy with my little eye or I see something yellow. And that could be for recognition of color for your child. Um, and they can try to guess. And then they can say they spy something as a certain color. Or maybe they want to describe something. I spy something that has four legs. Or I spy something that you live in. So this is all just good for vocabulary and just good fun for kids of all ages, I think. So this is all you need to do is go ahead and print this out. And I have a link for it for you down below. It's free. However, if you'd prefer, I will show you how to open this up in your uh, Silhouette Machine, Silhouette Studio, so that you can have your machine automatically print, then cut these, so you don't even have to do any scissor cutting at all. So if you want to find out more about that, join me in the subsequent video that I'll be doing. So again, thanks for joining me. I hope you like these stories, and I hope they're helpful for you. 